Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today, uh, actually, we will be looking at some of the critical vulnerabilities that were reported in the Git uh, version control system. So, these are the CVs uh, that we are going to uh, discuss or uh, explore a bit uh, in this video. Okay, so here is my documentation that I am going to follow uh, for this uh, uh, video. So basically, uh, like recently, there were two critical uh, vulnerabilities that were uh, reported in the Git uh, distributed version control uh, system. So this was uh, actually a part of uh, a security audit or source code audit, you can say, uh, which was carried out by a uh, third party, uh, which is basically uh, X41, so as you can see the name. So this. Uh, uh, a team or this organization has carried out uh, this uh, security audit on the git uh, source code basically to identify uh, what all were uh, issues or uh, vulnerabilities are present in that uh, software uh, that we widely use uh, for managing the uh, repositories or projects uh, worldwide okay so so if I, if I go, uh, so let, let me go into uh, Firefox. So l let us try to uh, like uh, understand a bit about uh, the CVs that were reported, okay. So if you go into br uh, your browser and search for Git security advisories, So it will lead to security advisories of the Git repo, uh, which is posted on GitHub. So if you see, these are the two critical vulnerabilities that were recently reported. Okay, so one is related to the uh, Git archive and Git log uh, utilities uh, that are provided as a part of Git, and uh, the other one is Git attributes, uh, which is. Uh, facility uh, provided by uh, Git uh, to actually uh, configure your settings uh, based on a particular path or particular file uh, in the Git repo. Okay, so let us try to understand what uh, what what are this uh, Git archive, Git log, and uh, Git attributes uh, before trying to explore more on the CVs. Okay, so Git log uh, and Git archive is basically used to archive a repository uh, in a particular format like tar gz or zip format so it basically uh, compresses your uh, repository uh, based on a commit id or uh, tree id and it archives in a specific format uh, whichever format you provide uh, in the uh, git uh, archive utility command okay and coming to git log, uh, git log is basically uh, which is uh, used by everybody uh, in order to look at the git uh, commit history uh, mostly and uh, it has a option like format uh, which which can be used to basically uh, like format the output that we get uh, from the git log basically in order to uh, like read it uh, in a uh, human readable format like we can use some of the formats uh, which can uh, uh, be passing it into uh, this specifier okay so that is all uh, about the git archive and git log uh, which is basically used uh, other utilities provided with the git distributed version control system okay and now let us go into git attributes okay so git attributes is basically same as the config settings uh, basically uh, if you uh, if you have configured the git so the first uh, the first thing that we do is configure the user and the G, uh, email id uh, which we want to use uh, while we commit our uh, uh, files into the git repositories so git attributes is same so we can set these uh, settings uh, rather than on a global or the user level we can set uh, these settings uh, on a uh, file or uh, path level okay so if you, if i uh, give you an example so basically we can set this uh, 
format uh, this string in uh, git attributes to tell like any files with the following extension uh, should be read as a binary format okay so that is uh, all about the git attributes like you can go into more details about the git attributes in uh, the documentation uh, that is provided by git so you'll get a more understanding about those uh, things so so we have looked at git archive git log and git attributes which are the main terminologies uh, uh, which we need to understand before uh, look uh, we will deep dive into the series okay and now uh, let us look at this uh, integer overflow also so basically like if you know about programming uh, uh, we have uh, in C let's let's say we will uh, go into the C language here so we have different types which will store our data okay we have integer character uh, and float values okay but every uh, type has a specific limit uh, in uh, which it can store okay so basically uh, if we cross that limit it is going to over overflow basically so that is what the integer overflow is okay so let's say like if you are using an integer type and you are trying to save a number uh, which is not going to be accommodated into that integer type it is going to overflow and uh, it will be saved as a completely different uh, value uh, which you might not notice okay so this case is basically called integer overflow and in this scenario like in the git repositories what was identified is like there was a particular uh, functionality wherein this integer overflow was uh, occurring uh, which could lead to a heap overflow and basically uh, like you will get uh, out of memory issues uh, while trying to run these uh, commands or utilities okay so that is in short about what is integer overflow like i have shared all the links uh, about uh, this organization uh, uh, the important links that i have uh, gone through uh, in order to understand about the cvs so i have shared this in the the blog that i'll be sharing uh, with this video uh, in the description so you can go through that also okay so now uh, let us try to go into the cves uh, that were reported okay so the first cv is uh, 2022 41903 so that is heap overflow one okay So you can see uh, like heap overflow, uh, this CV was reported uh, in the git log or git archive. Basically it has something to do with this formatting. So this format uh, specifier, uh, basically uh, it has some issues uh, wherein the, uh, when, a, when a, specific, a specifically crafted uh, string is, uh, if it is passed into this format, uh, it is basically going to uh, give a out of memory issue in your uh, service and it is going to trigger a uh, kill basically in uh, in uh, in some of the processes in uh, that are running in your system okay so so this is some uh, format uh, this is a format specifier uh, string uh, that uh, that actually uh, is causing uh, this uh, CV and this format specifier is basically common in git log and git archive uh, utility that that uh, that that use that format uh, option okay so basically uh, in order to over uh, like in order to uh, like mitigate this issue like what workaround uh, they have suggested is basically we need to disable the git archive utility or we just don't utilize it uh, in an untrusted repository so let's say like if you are uh, like cloning some uh, repository uh, untrusted repository and you are going to run uh, git archive uh, with a specific format it is going to uh, like cause uh, out of memory issues on your system okay so let us try to uh, 
see like what exactly that means so i am running this git version So 2025 is the version that I am running, which is actually vulnerable to those CVEs. Okay, and uh, now let us try to run this uh, git uh, log uh, utility uh, with a specifically formatted string, uh, which actually causes this issue. So you see, it has killed something in the processes so it, let us try to go into our logs so if you go uh, like this out of uh, you see that is system uh, out logs so it has you can see my it has mentioned oam kill uh, out of memory killed process git but if you go a bit more uh, here the actual process that it killed is this one so this uh, process uh, is uh, it actually belongs to a uh, uh, GitLab server uh, sidekick uh, process that that got killed on my system when I ran that uh, git log with a specifically crafted uh, format string. Uh, so that that that's the uh, basically uh, impact that you might see uh, in your uh, systems. Like if you are uh, using this uh, vulnerable uh, git version, uh, uh, which can cause this issue. Okay. So that is all about the CV uh, that uh, causes the heap overflow and ultimately the out of memory issues causing uh, it to kill some of the processes on your system. Okay. And the other CV, uh, the other CV that was reported is uh, related to the git attributes. So as I mentioned, uh, basically git attributes is a file uh, that we create in the repository uh, like uh, with uh, which is a hidden file so it basically attaches uh, some set of uh, configuration settings uh, to a particular path or particular set of files uh, in the git repositories and uh, based on that settings uh, those uh, 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 will be applied when we run the git utility commands uh, based on this uh, attributes okay but uh, here also like there is a, uh, a specific issue uh, wherein so let me go into the browser and let me open that uh, git attributes uh, cb so so here, here you can see uh, these uh, overflows uh, can be triggered via crafted git attributes file that may be a part of the commit history okay so in this uh, cb basically uh, like if there is any specific file uh, with this uh, git attributes file and it contains a huge amount of file patterns and attributes it is going to uh, cause uh, like when you when you try to clone uh, it basically going to uh, fail or cause an issue uh, in cloning that repository so that ultimately causes you to uh, that ultimately uh, has an impact on you uh, like cloning that uh, repository okay so it is also basically uh, something uh, similar to what we saw with heap overflow uh, so basically this git attributes file is going to cause a heap overflow or, uh, or memory issues in your uh, uh, system when you try to clone uh, that repository uh, with this particular uh, git attributes file present in that repo okay so that is the whole uh, thing about uh, the two CVs that were reported uh, recently, uh, which were tagged as critical uh, in the security advisory of the Git repository. Okay, and uh, as of this uh, uh, like recording, like uh, the following versions 
have been fixed uh, with the uh, with those CVs. So basically, if you are going to uh, uh, run this uh, following uh, uh, Git versions, or if you upgrade to the following versions of the Git, uh, those uh, overflow issues will be resolved. Okay. So this is uh, something uh, which I wanted to share in this video specifically because uh, Git is widely used uh, in all of the uh, organizations in all of in all of the build systems. So it basically is used in all the Docker images of uh, the the softwares in order to uh, get the uh, repositories uh, which are required for building your uh, software. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. Thank you all. Thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day.